When invading an impending natural disaster, always make sure to make every stupid decision possible, like the people in Unsheltered, directed by Marcus Small, written by Luis Canales and Marlays Rowitz. I hope I pronounced those names right. This is their first full writing credit. And this stars really nobody of any importance. There's five college students that are trying to evade the impending Hurricane Irma. They run out of gas. They go to an airplane scrapyard to find shelter. They need to take shelter, but eat all you take. Non-MST3K fans have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. And then weird shit starts happening. Because, of course, when you're in an airplane scrapyard, you want to talk in as many cliches as possible, make every dumb decision possible, and then make sure that you make more dumb decisions when your uh, dumb decisions previously caused you to end up in these situations where basically bad shit is happening. Did I describe the plot well enough? Well, I described some of the plot. And then the movie, unfortunately, just tries to throw curveballs at us and tries to make this all documentary style. And look, there was a good idea here, at least the bare bones of a good idea. It was like if a wrong turn movie was made by a sea cucumber or at least funded by a sea cucumber because maybe the people making this were actually trying to do something good. By the way, one of the people in the cast, Ray Lloyd, as the interviewer. <laughs> if the name Ray Lloyd doesn't sound familiar, if you are a wrestling fan, a longtime wrestling fan like me... Then you might remember him better as Glacier. No, he did not do the Glacier entrance. More in the pity, because I don't think the funding would have allowed it. He was the interviewer interviewing a cop detective Quill, or Quinn. Actually, it probably would have been better if he had been writing with a Quill. Hell, maybe it might have been better if this movie had been written by somebody that wrote the movie Quills. Remember the movie Quills? I might just talk randomly about various movies that were a whole lot fucking better than this. Look, I don't expect much when I find a movie on Tubi, and this is the bare bones of a horror movie, where basically there's a killer out to get some people. Why is this killer out to get people? Why in the world is this killer just, you know, um, <clears throat> confined this one particular airplane scrapyard? Could it possibly be this is his lair? Could these airplanes be sending him weird signals telling him to kill? Those have been better explanations than the one we got. But yeah, there really isn't much to this. People are really cliched and stupid. There's a former drug addict who uh, vapes and is running out of vape because he's all about that vape, about that vape, or he'll go crazy. And then there are other people. They're cheating on the other in the same group. Bear in mind, this group is five people. And also Ray Lloyd, who's doing the interviewing. <clears throat> and then a cop. And then this other person that is named Rachel Craston who apparently lost her, uh, you know, lost somebody and now has certain property that is her that is in her name and one of the properties is this airplane scrapyard yeah i'm just spoiling this stuff because missing out on this fucking thing is not going to haunt you until your dying fucking days or even is going to matter to you in five fucking minutes this kind of reminds me of the movie follower that i watched and i actually paid for that and i got a lo little entertainment out of it but i didn't get much really uh, material from it and it's kind of the same here, because people just make dumb decisions and get killed, and there's really no explanation until the last number of minutes that will come up here in a spoiler section, where any explanation I came up with was vastly, vastly better than the one they came up with, because much like when I watched Bad Influence, check out that review, that was a 2B original, they just threw stuff in at the end, they did the same here, but Bad Influence was entertaining in a bad way. This wasn't. This is like they just... They dragged shit out and then were like, crap, we have to come up with an explanation. Let's come up with a dumb one. And then let's come up with one even dumber than that. And that's basically what they did. <laughs> and God, it was just so fucking bad and putrid and lacking in anything. And everybody just died and everybody was stupid and everybody was moronic. And then they tried to throw a plot twist that really might have been fine if we gave a damn about any of the characters to begin with. I am going to get into spoilers. Not that it fucking matters, because this movie is fucking dog shit. Whatever, everybody's got to start somewhere. Hopefully everybody can go on to do bigger and better things. It can't get much fucking worse than this. It is on Tubi, though. Tubi is free. Tubi or not to free. Well, okay, that fucking failed. Three, two, one, and spoilers. Okay, so the whole thing, people get off to an airplane scrapyard that this guy directs them to. This old guy directs them uh, to it because they're running out of gas. Because who would think to gas up your vehicle before leaving an impending hurricane? The whole Hurricane Irma motif, or motif rather, just gets worked to death for a bit, and then they seemingly forget about it. It's like they just forgot that they were supposed to be caught in a hurricane while in a small airplane hangar in the middle of nowhere, 
And this guy's killing them. Why is this guy killing them? Well, it turns out this, um, <laughs> this Rachel tells the detective they're talking in a bar, in an open bar, by the way, open bar, about how her husband was leading a double life and had this web series called Ready, Set, Kill that these fun, the people funding it wanted uh, to complete the contract by any means necessary, so they trapped these five college kids, but one escapes and then one gets kidnapped and taken in a van, and apparently the same thing happened to the detective's wife, and then... He ends up filling. He ends up seeing the killer here, saying, "I don't understand why these kids were killed." <clears throat> and even though he knew about this stuff and had to play along, Ray Lloyd has nothing to do with it. Ray Lloyd completely disappears by this point. Uh, maybe he went on to do the uh, karate stuff like Glacier and do Sub Zero. I like Glacier. I think he was vastly underappreciated, considering they gave him a silly gimmick during the rise of the NWO. Anybody that is a non-wrestling fan has no fucking idea what I'm talking about. Nevertheless, this cop comes up with a brilliant idea, seeing the killer there. I saw what happened. <coughs> hey, partner, give me an extra hour. I'm going to do something. I'm going to put popcorn in a bottle that this guy can clearly see, and then I'm going to get all this evidence, and I'm going to shoot him in his truck, and then leave in this van to go get my wife that apparently was found, was kidnapped by these people, and that girl, Michelle, the sole survivor. That's it. That's fucking it. That's fucking it. This was, this was terrible. This was fucking terrible. I mean, it wasn't even like the good kind of terrible that I could find some entertainment in. Oh, and, uh, the killer had all the, all the kill, uh, all the victims lined up and everything, um, including one that was a social media influencer with her phone stapled to her, um, <coughs> forehead for the TV screen. One who, the one girl who was pregnant had her guts ripped out and another guy had his heart ripped out. Now, another guy that was a drug addict, former drug addict that has had needles stuck in him. That's it. All for a web series. This was literally thrown in within the last 15 minutes. Because they had nothing else they had nothing else going on. Fucking hell, this was bad. F. Gets a fucking F. If this isn't on my worst films of the year list, we are in for a long slog. Agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rutland. I'll see you soon.